Hello everyone and welcome back to Arcade Spirits! If you want to watch previous parts or start from the beginning, I have a playlist. If you want to play the game yourself, I have a list in the description. We are starting level 4, player versus player. It is the future year of 20XX. And this is my hour. Max has come and gone, and we're hoping a good number of folks have reached out to their- I'm sick! I don't feel great! <laughs> Let's do this! Max has come and gone, and we're hoping a good number of folks we reached out to there will be here today at my big event. Funplex Rising. This is make or break moment for me. My chance to put the Funplex on the map. My chance to make something more of this job than a 9 to 5 vacuuming the carpet and looking for missing ski balls. My chance to prove to myself that I can do this. Everybody's counting on me to bring in the customers and keep them coming back for more. Without that, we're constantly at risk of the Funplex shutting down. So no pressure or anything. Here I am in the break room, psyching myself up, watching the clock. Once the little hand hits the 10 and the big hand hits the 12, Funplex Rising is go. I don't want to be nervous. I don't want to be freaking out like I was at max. I want to face this with absolute confidence. But well, sadly I'm me and not someone else. And these old instincts to assume that everything will go wrong, those feelings are still hanging on. Yeah. Almost time to hit the stage. You ready, Antonio? No? Yes? You know what? Let's go with yes, even if it's a no. I know exactly what you're feeling, Antonio. Your heart is racing, your breath is shallow, and you feel like you might pass out any second. Check, check, and check. I get the same way before a major community event. But I'll let you into my little secret. I take those thoughts of I'm anxious and instead I tell myself I'm excited. Both emotions have the same effects on the physical body, but changing the mental outlook works wonders. So let's hear it. I'm, um, excited? Alright! Perfection! Now don't stop! You keep telling yourself that and I'll keep everyone else dancing. In the end, everybody wins. Dance on! 10 o'clock. Time to do this. You can do this, Antonio. And you know what? You and the family curse makes you fail miserably and crash and burn. At least you can say you at least you took an honest whack at it. You'll never succeed if you don't at least make a few whacks. With that settled, I push through the door and out into the arcade. I'm talking from my chest today because I just can't. I can't do head voices. It makes me hurt. <laughs> Let's be honest, we'll probably get maybe a dozen randos anyway. No big deal, right? And that is not a dozen randos. This is considerably more than a dozen randos. Wait, why am I panicking? This is a good problem to have. We wanted a big crowd for the event. Okay, it's more folks to wrangle, but I can do this. I can do this. I step out in front of the crowd, waving for attention. Hey! Hey, everyone! Briefly, I look down to make sure I'm wearing pants, unlike my nightmares about public speaking. Welcome, everyone, to the Funplex Rising at Francie's Arcade Funplex. We've got some awesome things in store for you today. I'll go over the basics. Then we can get this party started. First, the token machine will be spitting out extra tokens when you buy five bucks or more on of them. So make the most of it. Second, the Fist of Discomfort Tournament. We're streaming it live on Queen Bee's channel. Sign-ups are at the prize desk. See the giant pink flamingo for details. Third, a high score contest for nearly every other game in the arcade. Register your three letter Register your three letter initials with Gavin at the desk to join in. Whoever holds the top score at the end of the day gets a trophy and tokens. We're planning a monthly high score challenge le leaderboard, so let's get that started. Fourth, Teo will be managing a Showtime stage tournament. 
For those of you eager to put your groove on, go see him. Fifth. I can confirm the rumors. We're going to have magical moon, moon cuties playable on the floor today. The Funplex is home to the indies. Finally, a few minutes, I'll be in a few minutes I'll be revealing our new rare game. Only a few prototypes were ever made, and today we'll get to play one of them. All of those things were on the flyer and the promotional website and so on. Meaning the point by point was kinda redundant. They're ready to go. But I should pump the crowd up a bit. Get them excited. Can't half fast this either. Cramp! <laughs> I wanted guts! <laughs> okay, we have You have my respect and my gratitude. Thank you for coming. Or veterans or newbies alike. I hope you all have a lot of fun and make new friends today. Mm, we'll go with the scales. You have my respect and my gratitude. Thank you for coming. Each one of you is passionate enough about the arcade scene to take time out of your day and join us at the Funplex. For that, you have my gratitude. We're a literal mom and pop small time arcade. We know there are bigger, glitzier arcades out there, but today we're going to show you we can match them pound for pound. We hope you have a blast today and that you keep coming back for more. Your support will help us grow and I promise you I'll do everything I can to make it worth your while. So with that said, let's get right to what we came here for. The game is the contents of this challenge is. This is Funplex Rising. Welcome. Yep, that got him excited. Right, okay. Now it's time to reveal our new rare game and get the show underway. Gavin and Naomi wheel the tarp covered game out from the back room. Excitement builds in the crowd as it's pushed into place. My friends, I give you... Wyvern Keep. Wyvern Keep? Wyvern Keep? A rare laser disc based game where you're daring where you're daring princess rescuing a prince from the clutches of an evil lizard. And the crap goes mild? I thought laser disc games played like crap. Isn't that why they stopped making them? They're not all bad, and they can't be kitschy nostalgia at least. Could be fun. Maybe I'll give it a shot after I'm out of the FOD tourney pools. Not the outburst of joy I'd hoped for. Man, it's a mild Aww. game. But, but I thought this game was really sought after by collectors and stuff. That's different from being popular. I suppose. I wouldn't worry though. Today's crowd is fairly hardcore. Some more, once more casual players are wowed by the animation, it should pay for itself. Didn't Antonio kind of get it for free? My point stands. I'm about ready to give up on this for now and move on to other things when I saw something out of the corner of my eye. Very hesitantly, a young girl approaches, eyes full of wonder at the cartoons playing before her of the daring princess. And after dropping in two tokens, she starts to play, standing on her tippy toes to do so. Games are meant to be played and loved. The gamers that grow to love them, gamers like me, always find them in the end. Hopefully that girl will have cherished childhood memories of Wyvern Keep just like I did. My nerves unwind somewhat on seeing everybody ready to go. Maybe today will work out just fine after all. And jinxing it, jinxing it. With the event underway, folks head off to sign up for the high score challenges, the FOD tourney, or just to go play some games. As for me, I work my way through the crowd and back to the desk. One last thing to do, check in with our VIPs before they dive headfirst into the storm. Teo is manning the stage to encourage folks to get silly on the dance floor. Percy's preparing for his movie run. Queen Bee is ready to face her first op opponents. I know I can rely on the staff, but in a lot of ways, the gamers are our first challenge for the day. It's their event. I need to support them. For starters, I wave over Teo. Everything set for today's dancing, Teo? In Teo fashion, he winks and gives me a thumbs up. Absolutely. Ready to rock, but can't stop to chat. Running the stage is my focus for the next few hours and is going to take every ounce of social juice I can squeeze out. If you need me, check me out during the lunch break, okay? Phrasing and K. Percy, world record time. You up for this? Absolutely. Whoa, okay, he definitely looks focused today. Not his usual soft-smiling self. 
Naomi set up a little camera to record the whole thing. When I set the record, I'll submit it as a new high score to defeat. The culmination of years of effort, all coming to a head. The pressure's well and truly on, isn't it? I can always try another day, yes, but this isn't for me. I mean, it never was for me, but today is also for you. For the Funplex, you mean? For you. This event is more than a way to put the Funplex on the map. It's your own personal high score attempt, chasing a dream, always grasping, just out of reach. I'd hate to let you all down. Morale improvement systems online. Aim the encouragement cannons. <laughs> hey, if you bungle, there's always Donkey Kong. Nah, win or lose, we'll be proud of you today. Or is there anything I can do to make this easier? Win or lose, we'll all be proud of you today. Percy, I know how much this game means to you, but don't feel like you have to win this on my behalf, or even the Funplex behalf. Volunteering for this high-pressure public profile run, that means a lot to me. You're already doing everything you can do for us all. And honestly, I'm proud of you. Quite right, quite right. Very well. For myself, for you, and for the Funplex, I shall give it my all. I'm grinning like a fool. Percy's offer whew, Percy offers a quick salute, then marches off to war with Mr. Moopy's magic maze, having a seat on his stool to begin the run. Next up, checking in with What the f Antonio, what the hell? <laughs> what the Uh hey, you ready for the tournament? Nope. No way. No, I am not ready in the slightest. Not for for this, not for him. With a subtle head nod, she indicates a fairly nondescript fellow with a t-shirt with a t-shirt and jeans standard gamer gear. But there's an unusual design on the back of his jacket. Like some wide-eyed fanged oni. This is a local event, right? Funplex regulars, city scrubs, and a bunch of dance members for Max. Uh we might have gotten some international people, you know, because of Max. That's Yes, I mean, yes, that's what this is. Then why the heck is the demon here? The who? Hey, listen! Known on western shores as the demon, and in his home country of Japan as Kami. He's the top rated Fist of Discomfort player in the world. As for your question, Miss B, I invited him. Iris! <laughs> what? Mm. Um, you asked me to handle invitations for the tournament, remember? As part of my helpful assistance to settle to setting up Funplex Rising. Honestly, I was surprised he accepted my invitation. All the other top-rated pros turned it down flat. Even flew here from Japan on his own dime. Or again. Isn't that nice of him? Antonio, did your magic phone fairy just put me in the put me dead in the crosshairs of the greatest player who ever lived? I maybe? Yes, we'll go with yes. Sorry? I am hecked. <laughs> I am so completely hecked. <laughs> Queen Bee can't be losing morale now, and I can't have my friend so frantic over this. Plus, this is one of the main events, and when she's in the top fighting form, she's an all-star entertainer. I've got to pump her up. Queen Bee, kick his ass. Or, that means you've got this, you know his moves. Or, wouldn't it be a great upset if he won, though? But this is Antonio. That means you've got this. You know his moves. So you've seen him in action before. That means you know he's going to do before he does it. Top rated players are the ones in the true crosshairs. This is your chance to take down the demon, Queen Bee. You know you can do it. I know you can do it. She squeaks out a smile, but it's not her usual radiantly confident grin. Mm. Yeah, true. Wow. Okay. I'll watch hundreds of his- I've watched hundreds of his matches. I can- I'll do this. Here goes nothing. As she marches off to join the tournament, I'm getting a sinking feeling. Um, did I make a mistake? My calculations estimated that having a top player would bring in a, at least 150% more attendance. I mean, I, I was just trying to help this event be the best it could be. You did fine, Iris. Don't worry about it. You should have consulted with me first. Uh, you did fine, Iris. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Iris. I asked you to invite star players that hype the event to the moon, and that's what you did. And even if Demon beats Queen Bee, well, the Funplex wins. Even so, I feel kind of bad. But it's 
good that I feel bad, right? That I'm not making a purely quantitative analysis of the situation. No, it's good. It's good that you feel bad. Humans are rarely purely quantitative. Exactly! That only enough cheers her right up. Right. That's everybody squared away. For the next few hours, it's floor attendant Antonio on duty, making sure Funplex Rising soars like an eagle rather than a turkey. Oh my god, that's silly. By and large, the event runs itself, or rather, Teo, Ashley, Gavin, and Naomi keep it rolling. My job is to troubleshoot. And boy howdy is there trouble to shoot. Not one hour in if we got and we got problems. Even if they aren't major ones, I don't even I don't want even minor problems to mess up this event. Not even one glass of spilled milk. No stress level is my stress level is so high that I might start bawling at the sight of it. Beep beep. Antonio, can I be of assistance? I like to make things up to you after that invitation snafu. Currently, I'm detecting three problems for you to solve. Someone beating up a cabinet, a player loudly cursing at a game, and a crowd milling around the vending machines. As floor attendant and event manager, it's my duty to make things right. The crowd's already on edge from all the high stakes competitions. Where to start, though? Can't have people punching cabinets, swearing, swearing up a storm a problem around the kids, or sharks are circling the snack machines. Uh oh. Let's do the cabinet. Let's go from top to bottom if we can do all of them. The gamer is busy smacking the side of a wild rider cabinet. The fake plastic motorcycle handles on the front of the game rattle each time. No, 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 this can't be happening. Sir? Sir? Sir! You're not allowed to hit the games. Plus, if Naomi saw this, he'd be as good as ex excommunicated. <laughs> Oh, uh, you're the guy I got mad at when the fat dude couldn't stop playing Moopy, right? Sorry, sorry, I've got anger issues. I'm trying to work on them, but would you just look at this? Of all the rotten luck. I've got the top lap score, I did it, and... And now the game's frozen right after crossing the finish line. Honestly, I'm not surprised. Wild Rider is one of the most problematic games, constantly freezing or going splat. Naomi fixes it at least once a week. It was made in the early 2000s. I'm just going to say 2000s because I can't. With janky low polys and low production value as a whole. I'm sorry for hitting the game. I guess that was pretty stupid of me. But is there anything you can do to help me keep my score? I've got a real shot at winning this one. This guy rubs me the wrong way, but he seems sincere in his apology. And he's a paying customer today despite claiming he's he'd leave forever. So I should keep that ball rolling. Uh, let's see. Have you tried unplugging it and plugging it back in? Let me check with Naomi, see if she can do anything, or Iris, is there anything you can do here? I'm doing it with Iris. I know this is a long shot, but Iris, is there anything you can do here? Oh, I know. A challenge. Don't worry, Antonio, Iris is on the case. Meanwhile, please enjoy this recorded music. So, do we just stand around and wait, or? Thank you, thank you. Thank you for waiting. It took some it took some doing, but I searched and searched and found an exploit online for remote hacking the scoreboard of Wild Rider. First, please reboot the game. With a shrug I go through the unplug and replug routine. After it boots, of course, it's lost the score. Hacking through the game built in Wi-Fi now. The screen flickers and the player's time now appears at the top of the leaderboard. Whoa, amazing. Hey, seriously, I owe you and your magic phone, I guess, right? I'm on to the next game to conquer. I'm going to send Naomi a fan-made firmware update which closes the exploit. I doubt anybody would actually take the time to hack the fun plugs game, but... Better safe than sorry. Right, got it. Thanks, Iris. You've been a great help. Hooray, what should we tackle next? <laughs> Of all the heckin' immature little stunts to pull, that mother heckin' nerd and blah, blah, blah. Whoa, whoa, settle down. Fortunately for me, the gamer recognized me immediately, thanks to my speech earlier, and also fortunately for me, she calms down considerably too. Heckin', sorry, sorry, glad you're here, I need your help. 
I mean, just look at this heck. Curious, I take a look at the current top score on Hubert. Which is registered just which is registered in the initials ASS. Can you believe it? Someone beat my top score when I then put in joke initials just to ruin my day. I know exactly who did it too. Steve, that son of a heck. He's always pulling heck like this just to mess with me. Hey, there he is. Steve, get your ASS over here. Steve glances over and with a beaming smirk strolls over to join us. Joy, something wrong? Of course something's hecking wrong. You stole my high score! Did I? Oh hey, look at that. I guess I did. Sucks to be you, huh, Joy? And your initials are? Because I know for a fact Gavin wouldn't have let you register for the high score competition as ASS. So I played a little joke. So what? It's still my score up there. I'm taking home that trophy tonight. Urge to kill rising. Must control. Fist of death. Gavin is the scorekeeper today. He makes the call. I'm just gonna- I'm gonna go with Gavin. If you got a dispute, you take it up with Gavin at the prize desk. He's the judge, jury, and executioner of all things high score related. I already texted him for you. He's on the way. Gavin takes one look at the high scoreboard and frowns. Really? Really? And who exactly is Mr. Ass? Well, Gavin, that's technically <laughs> former WD <laughs> WWE tag team champ, badass Billy Gunn. <laughs> but today is just this guy right here, Steve. Good, Steve, you're out of the tournament. What? We can't wipe the game score for just to get rid of your joke score. Not without losing the real top score underneath it. Meaning, we're stuck with this for the day. Getting you out of my hair almost but not entirely makes up for having to deal with that problem. But, but that's not actually my score. I was just kidding. I didn't put ass in there. It was someone else. Antonio? He claimed it was his until you showed up. So he's either a liar or a prankster. We're done here, Steve. You're out of the running. One more incident and you're out the door. You don't have to stand here and take this crap. You don't want me here? I'll give my business to Jekyll Palace. And off he goes. Wow, that's some arcade justice right there. Thanks so much. Happy to help, but if you don't mind keeping the swearing to a minimum, we got kids here. For you, anything. Pretty intense stuff, but the problem's basically solved, even if Deco Nami's earning a few more quarters today. On to the next problem. Wait a second. As I loop back to the center of the room, I can't help but notice two things. Percy's looking oddly irate, irate, and Queen Bee is missing. My instinct says I should tend to our VIPs first and foremost. I don't think I can cover both of them in time, but I could help at least one of them. Even if it leaves the last of these crowds problem twisting in the wind, I don't know. This is triage. Where should I focus? Okay, everyone, we're gonna stop here. If you're interested in playing Arcade Spirits yourself, I have links in the description. If you missed any of the previous parts and want to start from the top, I have a playlist of Arcade Spirits. If you don't want to miss the next video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye! And thank you to this month's patrons. If you're interested in becoming a patron, I have a link in the description. Hopefully I'll see you there.